bro getting? Hey, bro. Or bro just pick up. Pick one, man. <laughs> What's Unk got in here? <laughs> Unk's feed me good. 215.7 just weighed. Did you actually? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> bro, it's heavier than me. <sighs> <laughs> Bro, just Uber Eats eight fair lives, bro. The lady called him. She was like, um, is this legs? He was like, yeah. Uh, yeah, they only have, uh, I, I got all the fair lives, all the chocolate ones. There's six of them here. And I, and I just like heard that. I didn't even know he ordered them. I was like, I was like, all, I was like six. I was like, how many more do you get, bro? She's like, she's like, oh, like, do you want me to just get the rest in vanilla? I was like, what the fuck, bro? What are you on? Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I like laughed. I like laughed while I said it. I like and I tried to like take it back. I like tried to not say it. I ordered eight fair lives because just in case, you know. Just, just in, in case, case we all we drink them all tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Two thirty. <laughs> <laughs> if we each drank four, bro, how much would that be? Holy fuck! That'd be like one hundred sixty-eight protein. One hundred sixty-eight. Oh, it's our forty twos. That'd be almost a thousand calories, bro. It's 920 calories. We drink four of them. I still, I got the go to the chest there, too. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I, bro? Amber hasn't showered in a fucking minute. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I? I just came over to Gandalf's oh. house, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we have that established that. I don't even know who I am anymore. You know what happened to one one hundred eighty pound shredded handsome fucking maintaining a nice, well groomed physique. I'm moving a bit differently. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to that pretty boy, bro? Hey, I thought I was a pretty boy, y'all. <laughs> it was in there somewhere. Yeah, so I feel big as fuck, definitely fat. It's crazy. Like I literally like. Nah, but you look good, dude. Yeah, like, right here, my abs are gonna get like that much. Nah, right but here, that bro. back is different. <laughs> back there bro I that's don't fire though it's yeah good. it is though. i don't store like any fat on my abs so i i could probably hit 220 with like full-on abs like fine yeah. so the book's been going good um too, a little too good yeah you're good exactly a fat guy bro i don't know yeah legs jiggle <laughs> Can't jiggle when bees. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro. I think bulking has been fun because of how fucking funny it is. Like, I feel like my ass crack wouldn't have been out if I was like shredded for some reason. <laughs> the goatee. Bro, using that shit is fun. The goatee and the fucking the ass crack, bro. Is so the hat funny, on too bro. now. Yeah, bro, got my hat on. I don't know what's going on with me, man. Some, something different's happening to me. Something about seeing your bro fucking just just melt a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Something funny about just seeing your bro turn into an uncle. Just that ass being out, bro. I wasn't even shocked, bro. Classic like Lex jiggle activity, bro. Like yeah. it, like it shouldn't happen, but for some reason I just feel like I can like load up 455 right now and just like do it. I don't know. Why. 455? <laughs> no, not actually, but like 420 or something, bro. Something like that. Bro, let's go, let's do it. Like, don't you just? I'm not gonna like, flat like, bench, like, bro. Like, don't you feel like I can do it though? For some reason, like yeah. I got like some superhuman. Strength. I believe it. I think you can do yeah, it, bro. Crash, I, right? I believe in my bro. That's what maybe, happens. Maybe, you I'll, get... maybe I'll just hit 315 for 10 for the first time. Like, just toss three plates around. Like, you gotta do me? something, bro. I think something's I got gonna to. happen. I think I got to, bro. Like, like this, this version of myself don't come around too often. It's his first time out, and you don't know how to act. Larry Meals, Steph Munchers, like Diggle. Save <laughs> my. <laughs> Go out and turn off my heat, motherfucker. You gotta get warm for it, Jim, before you hit your set. You get in the break and get all brittle and shit.
talking to me to my first day at the gym. Come here and let's get a silly one. Like, hey, Steph, can you get your ass over here? Come here, Beth. Like this, and I'm getting sharded, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the new video, everybody. I already stuttered. <laughs> Welcome to the new video. Welcome to the new vid. vid. Thank you guys for all the support on the recent videos, man. I appreciate it. Um, please drop a like and subscribe. We're trying to get to 500k. I appreciate it if you guys would subscribe. Oh yeah, this isn't even the intro because I just played a uh, workout with me, Max, and Steph. Just a quick few clips. So I didn't film too much of that workout. Um, everybody was filming, so I was just like, eh, like. If you want to go watch that video, you can just go to Max's or Steph's channel when he posts it. But let me explain um, what, how, <laughs> you know, let me explain that fast pick. So basically, before Max came over, I would think, I thought it was a good idea to just <laughs> eat and drink as much food and protein and water and everything as I possibly could. And it was, like I looked pretty damn big to work out. And, um, I was basically the bloat goat, like that was my old true form right there, and I was sitting at the edge of the screen, so the camera on my lens right here that Aaron's using is a 9 to 24 millimeter, I think, so I know it's the first number is 9, so basically the lower the millimeter on a lens, the wider it is. It's what a lot of like people who 
you know, vlog use basically. And I was at the edge of that lens when it was fully zoomed out, which means it's at the widest point. So if I stood, if I zoomed out my lens right now, which I'm not going to, but if, you know, if I did zoom it out and I stood at the edge, I'd look really kind of distorted. So on top of being bloated, I was also right at the edge where it was super distorted and it was just an insane thing to see. Like, I, I, when I seen that clip, bro, I was like, I had to post it because I just was like, this is so funny looking. So I'm definitely not like that fat. Like, that's obviously the goal. <laughs> like, I just want to look like that, like walking around basically. You do? No. Um, I'm also not as heavy as I was that day. That was the heaviest I've ever been in my life that day. I, think it was, I, went, I went to bed at like 216.7 like or something. Literally. It was crazy. But it was a really fun workout and all that. And uh, yeah, it's kind of how that picture happened. I was just really bad angle, really bloated. I was looking big at least, but yeah, the bulk is working. I mean, I do feel bigger overall. Uh, I'm gonna drink some pub rocks. So another thing about, just, I don't know, just a little update on what I've been doing. I just don't take pump anymore, man. Like. I don't take any pump products anymore for some reason. I want to try it because like I don't know what I'm doing. Like I know I mean the pump has never really been important to me, and I don't really have an issue getting a good pump usually, especially because I'm on the bulk and I have a lot of carbs and sodium throughout my system a lot. Um, but I'm gonna use this today just to test it out, man. I mean like pump product has always been good, and I didn't stop using it because it was bad. I just I don't know, just didn't want to do it anymore. But I'm gonna try to take this. I'm drinking energy. Ooh, we drink. should show them the new energy drink. And uh, I don't know also, if we're allowed, but we should. Also, I don't really care. Also, this is, this has got to be, I swear I have a new Gorilla Energy Drink every video. <laughs> this has got to be top two. I think Lucky Lemon Lemonade. Wait, is that still, Blackberry Lemonade, right? It's Black black Blackberry Lemonade. Yeah, so I think good. regular lemonade is just a tad bit better. I, I was, disagree. Aaron disagrees, but I, I just love lemonade. But I think this is literally number two. So this is an amazing one to get. If, when this comes out, or the Sprite one comes out that I was reading the other The Sprite day. one's out. Oh, you can use code LEX for 15% off your order. I'd really obviously appreciate that. Or 10% or something. I don't fucking know. Just, it's 10%. You know, why not? Just get a little percent off your order. Anyway, um, but yeah, today I'm going to hit chest. Um, dude, I'm really thankful because it's a hot day out, so it's going to be pretty warm in the home gym. And I think I'm like 213 pounds right now. I definitely got back up. I was going down a little bit. Also, another update, which I'll ask Steph if I can put this in before I do it, but in case he says, yeah, Steph's actually moving here, which is insane. February 24th, marketing your calendars. Nothing special is probably gonna happen that day. I'm probably gonna be busy and he's probably gonna be moving in and whatnot. But like, you know, point is, I'm gonna finally have a good, I mean, I know Chris and Mike are here, but like, they're kind of an hour away. He's, Steph's more close. Um, and you know, we're gonna make the Ninja Turtles, me, Mike, Steph, Chris. So you're definitely gonna have to help him out, um, support him if you can when he gets here and whatnot. Because I know what it's like. When I first moved here, same thing. I was definitely, it was a scary time. And like, obviously we've done a lot since then. And I'm um, super proud of myself. But it's kind of like the same thing for Steph. He's going to have to, <clears throat> he's got some big boy bills to pay now. He has to persevere. He has to persevere, man. He's got to, he's going to start posting more. And uh, I also just feel very like happy um, about content lately. I just think, I've just been happy to post. And like, I feel like I'm almost breaking the mold of like loving it because you know when I posted every day I thought that maybe posting every day for like a week or two would help me what are you doing <laughs> what the underwear don't fit fuck? that good yeah by the way guys I I'm literally fully transitioning now I got a Hanes fucking tank on and I've never bro you guys know I always wear the Calvins and shit and um these are probably five times less comfy than the Calvins but I'm gonna wear them for the fact that I'm on my unk shit. You know, you guys seen from the beginning of the video or wherever that clip is. You know, I'm, I'm fully transitioning to uncle, <laughs> uncle mode. And uncle. I, I just had to get, you know, the Hanes, man. I had to, I just missing a few shit stains in them and I'll compl I'll be complete. You need the dad shoes too. Oh yeah, oh, I do need the, what dad, what are Like shoes? the Nike ones that are white. Oh, like the New Balances? I think so. Or are they New yeah. Balances? Yeah, they're fine. Yeah. Let uh, me get some, once I get the New Balances and shit stains in my Hanes, I'm gonna be like, <laughs> Like every, every, see like every pound that I go up on my bulk, it's like one thing added. Like, you know, 209, like grew, do, grew the goatee out, like, you know, 210, start wearing hats all of a sudden, like two, 211. I start smelling like really like shit, like, you know, okay. two, 212. If you don't smell like shit. Got, got a pair of Hanes, 213, got shit stains in the Hanes, you know. 214, start listening to Nickelback. I mean, it just, it's happening. Anyway, uh, what was I thinking about before I started like trying to adjust these uncomfortable ass <laughs> underwear? Just... Whoa. I was talking about. Oh, I mean, what? That I mean, was so. Did you do that on purpose? No, what? That was such a dad thing to do. 
Why did you do Oh yeah, another thing is my ass crack was out and I was filling up my tire. I was like, damn bro, I'm getting fat. If my ass is coming out and I'm filling up my tire, bro, like I feel like that's some fat dude shit. Or you just have a big Yeah, I've been loving like the content lately and just like getting like cause you know I post every day for two two weeks or a week. Um, I didn't really love it and I thought maybe by doing that I would like get more excited for it or like build more discipline to do it Which it, that just backfired. That was a bad idea um, I wasn't really liking any of those videos and kind of felt like I was that's just not my style, you know, and like I can That's just not who I am. I was just like trying to you know go to the algorithm backfired But now I'm like actually experiencing genuine childlike joy on YouTube the comments have been great I mean I love YouTube YouTube comments are always great you guys like sit here and watch 20 minutes of me being an absolute buffoon you know so if you're willing to do that I assume you fuck with me pretty heavy been having fun with it again and like that's honestly I think was the absolute missing piece of the equation was just that it just didn't it wasn't like fun to me anymore and like I didn't I didn't like feel like I feel like I was posting videos because it was my job and you know you don't want any job you do to feel like it's a job you want to love your job you know you want to love doing it and going there and you know I just feel like I'm starting to love it again a lot and like yeah I just appreciate you guys you know dropping like on the video and all that and just supporting me subscribing and like I said man I'm just trying to hit a 500k and instead of sitting here saying I'm gonna post on this day and whatnot I'm just gonna do my thing and <clears throat> let the action speak that you know I want I want this shit all right listen I'm collecting I'm a collector bro 81 <laughs> I'm about to go stupid. I have not had a workout above 70, barely even 70, honestly. I haven't had a workout above 68 or 65 degrees in like months. I'm so like adjusted and like used to hitting PRs, like basically raw. I mean, the most I go on squat, like I've never done, even used knee wraps. I've only ever used um, knee sleeves and a belt and like bench, bro. Like, you know, most I go is like wrist wraps, but I just feel like elbow wraps help so much, but like, I just feel like maybe it's today's generation, but dude, like people be hitting bench cars and elbow wraps and nobody says anything. I'm like, bro, I, I mean, if nobody's saying anything, let me, let me throw 425 on that bar and with some elbow wraps or I'll get it done. I don't have any right now. I guess I could try my, put my gangster wraps on my elbows. That'd be, I feel like I wouldn't really want to do that. But yeah, I mean, if, I mean, I, I might just buy a pair just to do it and like, but I just feel weird if I hit like 425 and elbow wraps, I was like, oh, bench PR. I feel like I'd be like. I feel like I'd be cheating, bro. I mean, maybe y'all motherfuckers don't care, but maybe y'all just want to see that heavy ass weight get pushed. Like, you know, let me let me put on a slingshot, some elbow wraps, some wrist wraps, and a fucking bench suit, and just hit like 500. So I've had a few people ask about my BMX bike, um, and they're just like, "Whose is it?" And it's mine. Uh, I actually used to kind of ride bikes a little. I never got like crazy at it or anything like that. Um, and I used to ride like scooters and bikes. Wow, look at this cobweb, bro. I never got insanely good at them, but I hear I have a clip of me just like doing just a 180 fakey, and I think the best I ever landed was like a 360, but it was more like a 180 pivot. Um, but I don't really try. I haven't ridden my bike in a long time because it's been like pretty cold out and stuff like that. But I think in the summer when I try to pick up the hobby a little bit more, but yeah, that's mine. Man, this heat is bringing me a different kind of motivation. Holy shit! I'm so excited for this workout. Let me tell y'all something before I get in this workout though. One, one thing really quick that's kind of on my mind, right? You've lived in your shoes every single day and you filled in the shoes that you need to fill in every single day. And no one else has done that for you, right? No one's gonna come save you. So why is it at the opinion of one or multiple people, you, you crumble and you fold and you let those people who are forming those opinions about you affect you so much when those mother have never lived a day in your shoes. There's not been a single day. They don't know you. They don't they don't live through the moments that you live in through you. They see them as they see them, and no one knows you better than yourself. How would they, bruh? Is your perception's reality? And you have the best perception of your reality out of anyone else literally in the entire world. So why the f when one or even ten or a hundred or a thousand people have an opinion about you, do you crumble at that? If anything, 
who the fuck cares what they think? They've never lived a day in your fucking shoes. They don't know what this shit's like. And you know what? For the one time, I'm gonna have to channel, channel that 2021 Lex right now because fuck what they say about you! I'm gonna do an AM rep of as many po as many reps as possible as I can for this 315, and you know, I just kind of am thinking about it before I do it as to how thankful and grateful I am to be able to even push myself to this limit because you know one day, you know whether it's when you're 40 or 35 or when you're 60 or 70, eventually you're gonna hit a pinnacle, whether it's in your physique or your, your training or your strength. Because, you know, when I'm 90 years old, I'm not going to be able to throw around 315 for as many reps. Or, if, I mean, any reps. I won't even be able to write, pick up 315 when I'm fucking 90 years old. So, you know, this is, this is something to cherish. This is something to enjoy. And it's something to be thankful for. To be a youthful, you know, young man or woman. To be able to push myself to this limit. You know, it's something that I won't be able to do forever. You never know when it could be your last time where you can push this hard. Maybe you get into an accident. You never know when it could be taken from you. So, before you do that, before you push yourself to your limit, you know, you, sh you should be thankful that you can push yourself as hard because there's some people in life that, you know, they wish they could be, have the ability to do these things that we do. So, I'm gonna do this set in honor of those who can. Nine, we didn't get ten. You guys were like, oh wow, that was so dangerous and da da da. Well, you know what? If I almost get into a car accident, I'm not gonna sit there and think about the fucking car accident for the next hour, right? That happened and uh, I'm perfectly fine. So I really don't give a fuck. We did hit a PR. We got nine reps, so I'm happy about that. Now I'm gonna drop down and do some back offsets. Also, just make sure if you're gonna do something like that, have a spotter so I don't get canceled for people thinking I'm promoting that.